Hi guys, good afternoon to all of you. I welcome you once again in another edition of my news and perhaps my channel as it is. Today I'm going to focus on some housemates which they are really waxing strong after leaving the Big Brother house. For example, like Tricky T. Tricky T all smile as he meet Basa State Governor Doye Diri. I mean, it was a wonderful gathering, all some gathering, like all some gathering. It's really waxing strong. All right, so former Big Brother Niger housemate Timmy Sinclair, popularly known as Tricky T, has met with his state governor. Doye Diri, Obayasa State. Tricky T, who was all smile, met the governor in the state house on Wednesday, September 30th. Sharing a video of their meeting on his Instagram page, Tricky T wrote, I feel so humble this morning. I feel I finally got the chance to meet with our governor, His Excellency Senator Diri Diri, Governor Obayasa State, alongside my dad. Watch the video as the event unfolds. All right, guys, you've seen the video. I mean, I appreciate the fact that the governor invited Tricky T and perhaps the father to visit him in the government house. That actually is commendable because whatever Tricky T is becoming today is projecting the image of the entire Basa and Bayasans. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm going to take you now to another news. Just wait, relax, and listen very well. In my very latest episode, Lekon, the Logos born rapper and singer, walks away with 85 million grand prize. I know this is no longer an, uh, a new news. The breakdown of the grand prize includes 30 million cash prize, a two bedroom apartment, courtesy Revolution Plus, a trip to Dublin, courtesy Guinness, home appliances, courtesy Scan Frosts. Others are a trip to Dubai, packaged by Travel Better, a year supply of Indomie noodles. Much eat and Colgate toothpastes. I wear some. It doesn't just end there. A year supply of Pepsi, a branded chiller, trip to watch the UEFA Champions League, finally, and a brand new Oppo mobile smartphone. However, the most outstanding of the gifts is a top of the range SUV and IVM G40 from the Nigerian automaker Innocent Motors. The IVM G40 has been the main car in the last two editions of the reality show. I will say a big, a big super congratulations to Lekon the icon. This is a young man of just 26 years. And I'm sure this is sending a direct message to the youth out there. That look, it doesn't matter where you are born. It doesn't matter your family background. You can make it big time when you have your dreams open. Well done, well done big brother, well done, well done. Congrats to the icon. Well done. I'll just give you a, a, a little video clip of the celebration. Watch this. Hi guys, you can watch the excitement from the winner of Big Brother Niger. I mean, the excitement was, he was overwhelmed actually with his fans, his co housemates. Uh, they were quite happy with him. Congratulations, the icon Lacon. Well done. All right, guys, I'll be giving you this news as it is hot. Kit Wire has just arrived at Abuja from Lagos, where the Big Brother lockdown was hosted. You can see the crowd that this guy is commanding. His fans home and abroad stood up for him. Watch the video clip, even from the airport back to his house.
Why are them gone? 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 All right, guys, in the final uh, analysis of my video, or rather my news today, Lekon, the Big Brother Niger winner, was invited to Hit FM Lagos for exclusive interview. How the events unfold, how his reactions, and perhaps how does it feel now that he has become a winner of the Big Brother, and how he relates with people different from the way it was before. You can listen to the video clip. So interesting, actually. Well done, Lekon. Well done. So there's no point me being here. Okay. So that was the whole thing okay. from the beginning, from the onset, when she said, okay, something is going on between her and Kate. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, yeah. So the best, the sensible thing to do was to back off. Exactly. Okay. And yes, that was what I tried to do as much as possible. Okay. And yeah, I admittedly, I needed help with that. Okay. But that was the whole point. I never felt like there was a possibility of something happening. I Between, remember and I, yeah. I think I'm going to quote myself. I said, at a point in our lives, when we leave this place, we can still be friends. We, I hope we will still, we'll still be, be friends. friends. Okay. okay. But right here in this house, mm -hmm. I need my space to be able to yeah. Okay, to, to help you. Okay, cool. They're moving on. Um, then when Ibuka brought up the um, trying to kiss you issue, um, do you feel like maybe there was a possibility that maybe you and Erica could have maybe before? You know, there was an entire week before the blow up, the, blow up, and everything. Do you yeah. feel like you guys could, could have had maybe a conversation, conversation and just talked that, about yeah. it as as you know friends or anything? Yeah, I actually thought about it. Okay, okay. but then again, there was already something in my head saying hey you need to be careful with whatever it is you say to erica mm -hmm. need, everybody in the house basically needs to kind of help erica make sure that she doesn't get a third strike mm -hmm. and in my head i'm not going to have a discussion that might trigger her and get a third strike okay. to us okay. for her so that was why i tried as much as possible not to talk about it and also it's very important for me to state this that in my head, all I was trying to do was to make sure that third strike. That third strike. Yeah, didn't happen. Happen. yeah, yeah. But okay, just um, a free advice right now. What I've what I've come to understand, you know, growing up is uh, you you know being older is um, difficult conversations need to be had. They need to be had no as matter how as no matter how how uncomfortable that they are. So what actually um, sets us apart as mature people is how we react to. Yeah, I never just, said you, I never you know, said the yeah. conversation would have been uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you didn't know how she was going to react to exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. And that's what you're trying to yeah, avoid. That's exactly. right. Okay. okay. So Great. that's why you said let's not talk about let's this talk now about yes. on the Friday, on the Sunday. Uh, yeah, on that particular because I remember she, she tried to upset. she yeah. tried to have a conversation yeah, with you said, there. You said yeah. you didn't want to have yeah. the conversation. Yeah. Maybe she might have read that. Maybe you're trying to gaslight her. Yeah. Right. Also. Yeah. Do you think that's a possibility? Uh, that's. I don't know about that. I don't know. What <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Me. I was just. Yeah. You're trying to not. But yeah, you guys cool? Are you, you guys? I think I have spoken. Cool? I saw something about. I saw. I think I saw something on on Instagram. Whether you won't follow, she didn't follow back, and you won't follow. I, you know, you people are what is all over everybody's <laughs> right, right explore page. I don't, I don't even have a phone. Okay. Oh, I'm, I don't. Yeah. I'm, I, yeah. But the truth is, right now there's just a lot going going on, on, and I really haven't been able to set it down to speak to my friends, a lot of them. Yeah. So it's just really been. A Go me, give him a phone now. Uh -huh. All right, guys, this come to the conclusion of my very video for today. Thank you so much. Please kindly click on the red subscription button and subscribe to my channel. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I promise I'm going to give you updates of whatever event that is happening within the Big Brother house and, and, and a lot of them. Thank you.